Um, well, definitely in the weight room. You know, all these guys have, have taken a step in the in the weight room. You've heard the stories about what Coach Bayless has meant to our program. Um, but I think it's just the work ethic. I think it's just a matter of going out and being uh, being able to, to have a purpose to the work. You know, uh, Miles, Chase, and Fink, each of those guys go out and they understand what it is individually they need to work on. And, uh, and, and, and myself trying to help them in those areas. Uh, but there's a tremendous focus, and, and I think you're seeing the, the results of that. Yeah. Chase. Um Coach Kelly has talked about just the consistency factor day, day to day, not only physically but but emotionally in dealing with the ups and downs of it. Where, where, how have you seen him progress in that area? That started in training camp. That started when he his his the off season <coughs> conversations, the the first day there in meetings. You know, being first, uh, being super attentive and, and understanding that this is what's going to help me reach my goals. And he's carried that through the season. You know, so his attention to detail uh, off the field and in meetings has created a consistency on the field. You've coached for quite a while now, I'm sure, and, and you know, you're not dealing with pros, you're dealing with young kids, so mm -hmm. I'm sure you see, um, you know, all the time how it, it takes a while for a kid just to mature yes. and to, yes. to, un to, to be able to handle success and failure. Right. Is that part of what Chase uh, has, has conquered or overcome? Yeah, yeah, well, we're all working on our emotions every day. Yeah. You know, this is an emotional sport, and, and Chase is definitely an emotional player. You know, uh, that fire that he has, uh, he's learned to control and, and, and channel his, his ideas and thoughts and right. passion. Uh, and that's helped him focus more. That's helped him to, to see more and develop faster uh, because he's not just playing the game based right. on emotion. Right. Getting back to, to uh, Boykin, um, has he, I mean, he, did, he catches everything. I mean, you know, there, there's no... There's no bobbles in there. Right. Has, has right. he always been that, I mean, as long as you've been around him, been that kind of player? Yes, he has. You know, he uh, he can adjust to all the balls. You know, he sees the ball uh, well. Uh, and, and once he puts two hands on the ball, you know, he's going to catch it. You know, so he is uh, really good athletically at adjusting the balls. I think he had he strikes all of us as a, per, a very bright, thoughtful yes. young man. How has that helped him in his game? Uh, he's patient. You know, he's, he's patient. He lets the game to come to him. He's uh, he's able to stand on the the, the offensive line of scrimmage and, and assess what's happening on the other side, and that just helps him come off of the ball with confidence.